Five of the best neighborhoods that are moderately priced in Five Forks, South Carolina. Are you wanting to relocate to Five Forks and have no idea which neighborhood is the best price? I can help. In this video, we are unveiling the top five of the best moderately priced neighborhoods in Five Forks, South Carolina each offering a unique blend of amenities, community spirit, quality of life, all for a moderate price. And when I say moderate price, I don't mean the lower end, I don't mean the two million, I mean right in the middle. Hi, I'm Tracy Roberts with Atlas Home Team. I'm a local realtor who loves living in the upstate, helping people just like you relocate all over the country to this great city. Here they are in no particular order. Let's start off with Stonehaven. Located just off of Woodruff Road, Stonehaven is a beautiful neighborhood with a little over 400 homes that is, was established in 1991. Stonehaven's homes are brick and stone exterior ranging from 2,800 square feet to a little over 5,000 square feet. They have lush landscape to larger lots. It's just a gorgeous neighborhood. One of the important things to understand is that the neighborhood is split into two. And what I mean by that is they have two different homeowners associations for the different sections of it. Now both have their own amenities like a swimming pool and the clubhouse and outside lighting and underground utilities and the tennis courts and exercise facilities. Their pools even have their own swim teams that are separate. So if you were choosing a home and you wanted specific things like your heart's like set on a certain swim team or certain amenities, you need to make sure that the home is in that particular HOA and not find that out after closing you want to be able to access the things you want it. Stonehaven has several entrances with the main one being, um, as I said a minute ago, off of Woodruff Road. The other one is off of 14, the road on Five Forks Road, which is off of that, currently zoned for Monarch Elementary, Malden Middle, and Malden High School. The location is great for getting to downtown Greenville in 18 to 20 minutes or Spartanburg in 30. So that's Stonehaven. Number two is Five Fork Plantation. Five Fork Plantation is one of the most popular neighborhoods. In Five Fork section of Simpsonville, it is one of the most established ones. It was established in 2006 and it consisted of 169 homes ranging from 2,600 square feet to a little over 4,000 square feet. Built by various custom builders and one track builder, Five Forks Plantation has higher end amenities that include sidewalks, walking trails, Olympic swimming pool, lighted tennis courts, athletic field, and a stunning, stunning uh, clubhouse. It's gorgeous. With easy access being located six miles from the city of Simpsonville and 12 miles from downtown Greenville, you can live your desired lifestyle in the proximity to downtown Greenville and shopping and dining off Woodruff Road. And there's some of the reasons that people love Five Forks Plantation. Currently, the local schools that serve the neighborhood of Five Forks Plantation are Oakville Elementary, Beck Middle School, and J.O. Man. All great schools. To check that out, go to niche.com. The third one is Tuscany Falls, which is one of my favorites. Tuscany is a beautiful upscale neighborhood as single family homes that is conveniently located just 20 minutes um, from downtown Greenville. A wonderful neighborhood of amenities, including um, large lagoon resort style pool. You heard that it even has like a little gr uh, like a grotto and the lazy river. Um, it's gorgeous. It has a clubhouse and so many other things. It is close enough to all the fun things of Greenville and Simpsonville without feeling crowded and um, the growth of the area. Currently, the schools for Tuscany Falls are Bell's Crossing Elementary, Hillcrest Middle, and Hillcrest High School. So you'll notice there's various schools and we're all talking about the same area, right? So there's various schools to choose from. Number four, Hollington. Hollington is one of the lesser expensive neighborhoods compared to the previously mentioned. It is located off of 14 and Five Forks. One of the things that the residents love about living in Hollington is the traffic light at the entrance, which sounds silly, but the traffic light enables quick exits out of the neighborhood in the morning to begin their commute to work or school and it's easy entry at the end of the day. Um, 14 is a busy road and it prevents you from having to deal with that. Hollington is at the front of Five Forks, ideally located where Highway 14 and Bethel Road meet. This makes it easy to get to several subsections for shopping. Restaurants and Bridge sta uh, Bridgeway Station, which is a really cool feature. If you haven't checked that out, there'll be a future video on that. Homes are typically two-story from four bedrooms to six bedrooms with open floor plans ranging from 3,000 to 5,000 square feet. There are some that have basements 
um, which are rare in the upstate. So it's definitely a neighborhood to look for if you're wanting a basement lot. Amenities include a swimming pool and a cabana area. The school assignment for that community is Bethel Elementary, Go Cardinals, Malden Middle School, and then Malden High School. Both of our children went to Bethel Elementary and Malden Middle. They are great schools and for any level of your child. Um, one of our children has autism and one of our children is gifted and in advanced classes. Both of them thrive there. Malden High School has AP classes and um, ways to take dual enrollment with college classes at the same time of you taking high school classes. That was definitely important to our family. Not sure what you're looking for for yours. Definitely check out niche.com and greatschools.com before you make your decision. Number five, Creekwood. Creekwood is also high on our list and one of the less expensive ones like Hollington. Both Hollington and Creekwood are primarily built by legendary homes. Legendary is the name of Meritage homes before they were bought out by them. Creekwood is located near the intersection of Jonesville Road and Woodruff Road. It is the furthest back in the heart of Five Forks, as we would say. One of the prominent home features of a Creekwood home is that the front has brick and stone accent exterior on most of their homes, other than like where you would get in Hollington, it has a lot of vinyl in it. It was established in mid 2000s and has approximately 248 homes. Homes in Creekwood have floor plans that range from the size of 1,700 heated square feet to over 5,800 square feet. Creekwood has also has several basement lots, giving it the ability to have larger families in their homes more comfortably. Creekwood subdivision offers plenty of fantastic amenities, including a cabana, walking trails, tot lot, a sports court, sidewalk, swimming pool with a lazy river, a kiddie pool, and even a clubhouse. The local schools serving this um, great community is Rudolph Gordon Elementary, Rudolph Gordon Middle School, and Fountain Inn High School. Now, Rudolph Gordon started as an elementary school only, and as those children progressed into sixth grade, it had a sixth grade, and they progressed on each grade level after that to become a school that had up to eighth grade. It was a great way for the children to grow into middle school. Fountain Inn is our youngest high school, and it is already known for its athletic programs and its superior education. Check that out on niche.com as well as greatschools.com. We have now explored five of the most sought after neighborhoods in Five Forks. If you are thinking about moving to Five Forks, these should definitely be on your radar. If a move to South Carolina in any area is on your mind, do not hesitate to get in touch with me, Tracy Roberts with Atlas Home Team. My information is below and do not forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe to get more information.